Welcome to the first of a series of videos covering how to get started with Analyst Notebook. I'm going to start by demonstrating the installation of Analyst Notebook 931. After downloading the installation media for Analyst Notebook, extract the installation files from the provided media file. You can use the Extract All option on the Windows right-click menu to do this. The contents will be extracted to the same location as the installation media file in my case the Windows desktop, and will be placed in an Analyst Notebook 931 folder. Before you can start the installation of Analyst Notebook, it's first necessary to install its prerequisites. There are two prerequisites for Analyst Notebook. The first is Microsoft.NET Framework 4.72 or 4.8, which are normally included and installed as part of the Windows operating system. The second prerequisite is Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1. This can be downloaded from Microsoft's website if permitted by your organization, or alternatively contact your system administrator. For this demonstration, I've searched for it using an internet search tool and will download it directly from Microsoft's website. Once you have obtained the installation file, you can run the setup file to install the Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1 onto your computer. It should not be necessary to restart your computer before carrying on with the installation of Analyst Notebook. Once the prerequisites are installed, open the Analyst Notebook 931 folder if it isn't already open. This folder was created when you extracted the Analyst Notebook installation media. Double click the setup file to begin the installation. Select the option to allow the installer to make changes to your computer. Before you can install Analyst Notebook, you need to read and accept the licensing agreement. Now click Next to continue the installation. You did read the license agreement completely, didn't you? On this screen you can choose to install Analyst Notebook to a different folder on your computer if you wish to or are required to. On the next screen there are two installation options available, Typical and Custom. The Custom Install option allows you to select the individual features you want, so you could add Esri Maps or choose not to install the example material. I am going to use the Typical option, which will automatically install Analyst Notebook, the example materials and the online help. Once I click Install, the software installation process will begin. It may take a short while for Analyst Notebook to complete installing. If you wish to set Analyst Notebook to use a different language, there's an option in the Windows menu to select your required language setting. I'm going to leave my installation in English, so I just select Analyst Notebook from the Windows menu to start it. Now that Analyst Notebook has started, let's open example charts, if you chose to install them of course. From the file menu, I select Open. On the right I can see some folders and shortcuts. Note that the example materials are installed in the individual user's documents folder. Here I'm going to open the association and timeline example. Now that I've opened the example chart, I can see that Analyst Notebook has been successfully installed and I can now start to create my own analysis charts. Thank you for watching this first video in the series. Please look out for further videos coming soon.